Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video, and today I am super excited to share the newest mod on my Toyota Tacoma. On top of the Tacoma, I have a Prinsu roof rack as well as an LED bar on the front and two pods on the back for lighting. All of the work was done at Camper City in Mobile, Alabama, and they did a phenomenal job. You'll see the craftsmanship throughout the video as I show you and talk about the rack, the lights, as well as the wiring in general. But stay tuned, and I hope y'all enjoy. So to start, I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all a little bit about the rack I bought. So this rack is a Prinsu design rack, and personally, I think it looks fantastic on top of the Toyota Tacoma. It just looks very sleek over the top. It's very strong, very sturdy. I feel safe putting loads up there, which I'll talk about in just a second as far as the hardware and where you can mount stuff, basically. But it's aluminum, all powder coated, and it weighs about 45 pounds, so you will be putting a little bit of weight on your vehicle. But just to see how sleek, sleek it is and how well that LED bar fits, that single row, it just looks super nice going down the road, I believe. So the top of the rack, we have two by ones all the way down to the moonroof. And the good thing is the moonroof, you can still tilt it up all the way. You can still slide it back all the way. So good news there. But you also have these little key channels on the side. And I actually have hardware with little tie-down rings. However, I don't have it with me, but you can put these into these little channels right here basically have more tie down points for the rack which is a good thing in case you're going to be putting luggage or whatever else up here who knows now the only thing is and you have to keep this in mind if you have the shark fin on your tacoma you will need the one by one uh, plate on the back here in order for the shark fin not to hit against the plate because if you have a two by one it's just not going to work but the lights are mounted fantastically because you have key channels all across all the sides. But for me personally, I'm thinking I'm going to basically put my kayak back here to start off if I go somewhere. And probably fuel tanks or something like that. And if I got into overlanding, something along the nature of shovels and axes in the future possibly. There's just not that many places to go overlanding in Alabama. Now the second thing I want to talk about are the rough country lights along the back. These are the two inch pods with the black face and I think they just look fantastic matching the rack real well on the back and they're going to add ample amount of light. And the reason I chose to have them mounted like this is I can still use basically the entire rack on top but also it's going to give me a really good view from behind, say if I get to the boat launch late, anything like that at night, I have ample amount of light right now because these lights on Tacoma, are they're okay. They do the job, but these things are going to light up the night. Even when reversing any of those applications, it's going to be phenomenal. And as you can see, the wiring is kept neatly just along the side. It's not going anywhere. Very, very nicely done. Now one of the final pieces of installation, this is the 30 inch LED bar that I got and it is a single row, rough country as well with the black face to match the roof rack and I still think that looks fantastic up there. You can get a 40 inch I believe but I didn't really feel like it was necessary. I think the 30 inch looks a little bit nicer and cleaner in my opinion and it's going to provide me ample amount of light. I'll be mainly using these LEDs up here in case I'm going down dirt roads during the winter towards hunting season. That way I can see deer in front of me a little bit better because we all know what happened last time. Now that's everything that's been done to the truck so far, but before you go, stay tuned for just a little bit longer because when it gets a little bit darker tonight, we're going to see how the 30 inch looks at night and how bright it is as well as how the back lights look and just how bright they are looking backwards do all that stuff, give a little comparison as far as where we were to where we are now. And just once again, a huge shout out to Camper City for making this all possible. Beautiful craftsmanship, stayed within the quote, and just a phenomenal job in general. I will be linking them down below so you guys can check them out for truck accessory needs, anything like that. So definitely go check them out, 100% recommend them.